a former football player, the legend himself, that goes by the name Steve Lekolea, a very good and a talented player in his days, has actually come into defense or came into the defense of a new Orlando Pirate coach. He's like, no, guys, no, 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 don't do that to the coach. Well, this comes after heavy criticism, <laughs> heavy criticism there after a lot of people called the new Orlando Pirate coach a plumber. Well, even Dr. Ivan goes called at some point, he, he said, no, guys, you can't call this man a plumber. Don't do that. But well, Steve, uh, uh, Steve Lacolea, guys, has got some very interesting words concerning the new Orlando Pirate coach that I believe you need to hear them. Well, are you interested to know more about that? Then please stick around. To those that will stick around. Guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, good people, it is free of charge. Without wasting much of your time, Steve Lacolea, well-known, skillful player. Well, in his days, he was known of being a very deadly place, uh, like free kick taker. You know, when there's a free kick, you don't want Steve Lecolea to be at the at the club that has actually been awarded the free kick because he knew how to place those those free kick. Man, he was deadly. On the very same, um, uh, for, at the very same time, he was a very skillful player. You do not want to mess around Steve Lecholé. Nonetheless, in defense of the new coach, he's got some interesting things to say. He's got this to say. Hmm. Yeah? He's speaking to, you're speaking to ikikov.com and he's got this to say. He's a new coach. Let's see what he, he can do. I think the, the early judgment have been unfair. You have to wait and see what a coach can do. The season, the season will begin soon. So... Let's see how the team does in the first five, six games. Then people can say whatever it was good, uh, it was good call or not. I get the retired midfielder Ustiv Lecholea. Good people, we are being warned that don't judge a book by its cover. Well, it has been a famous call um, to a lot of people. I think there is no one in this country that does not know these words. Don't judge a book by its cover. Sometimes the court is being misused because a lot of people can see a problem from a distance. They spot a problem from a distance and then the court is being used to say, no, don't judge a book by its cover. When actually people are seeing a problem, could it be that actually people are seeing a problem here or not? But sometimes there are people with good potential. I'll give an example. Do you recall when Stuart Baxter was first appointed at Color Chips? During the time when he was appointed at Carter Chips, it was said that he has uh, faked his CV. Some things were not true that was in his CVs. Little did he know that that would have been picked up. Then Carter Chips decided, no, let's keep him even then. Then he went on to succeed. He was a successful coach in his, in his first stint with Carter Chips. Nevertheless, the only way for me to know what to talk about it it is for you to get into the comment section below. Do you give this new coach the benefit of the doubt or not? Let the conversation guys begin right now, right here.